Now the RAM boost, one of the best feature, could possibly enhance the performance of your device and so many people may don't know about. In this video, I will explain what the RAM boost and also I'm going to be doing real tests to see if the RAM boost does help the phone to have more efficient performance or not. We will answer this question as well as we're going to see if the RAM boost does affect the CPU performance. We're going to answer all these questions in this video. So make sure to subscribe to Variety Stick, give me a thumbs up and without any further ado, let's find out. <music> Now commonly know if you have more RAM in your phone, meaning your phone is more efficient, you have the ability to open so many applications on the recent and retrieve this application without reopening the application or the video game and that's going to be a lot faster and it will make overall performance of the device a lot better. Now RAM Boost can help your phone run more efficiently by freeing up RAM of making more room for the apps you have actively using. In another word, the RAM Boost will create virtual memory from the hard drive by itself to move the apps or the games from the actual RAM in the phone to the hard drive so that way you will have less stress on the RAM itself. That means your phone is going to be more efficient and faster. Now first of all I will explain how you enable this feature. Now this feature is not available in all smartphones. Specific smartphone has this option. Go to the settings if you have a Moto phone. I'm using Moto Razr. The phone does have this feature and if you go all the way down you will see system, go ahead and tab on system and then you're going to see performance. Now from here you're going to have option called RAM boost. Now if it's on, the phone is going to show you 12 gigabytes, 8 on the actual RAM and RAM boost 4 gigabyte to bring the total to a 12. This number could be different from one phone to another based on how many gigabytes RAM you have in your device. Now we know where we need to go to enable this feature. Now because I'm going to be running test, we're going to open applications. This application, they're going to be all video games and I'm picking very heavy games starting with Devil May Cry, Call of Duty, Need for Speed, Asphalt, Sonic, Temper Run, Mario and Subway. We're going to run all these applications on the actual ROM in the beginning to see the performance of the actual ROM in the phone. So we're going to put the phone on 8 GB ROM. After this, we will go ahead and boost the phone to 12 GB of ROM just to see the main differences in the performance. So first of all, we're going to go ahead, go to the system, performance and change to 8 GB of RAM without any help from this feature. By just disable this feature, your phone is going to restart and then we're going to come back and open these games and see the actual performance of the RAM itself and after that we will come back and check the performance with the RAM boost. Now after finish rebooting, I'm going to go ahead to the settings and then go to the performance and I'm going to show you that the phone right now on 8 gigabyte of RAM by going to the system and performance and you see the RAM boost is off and if we go back to about phone I'm going to show you that the phone also is going to say 8 gigabyte of RAM. Now we're going to run the test and see what will happen. First of all I'm going to clear everything from the RAM and we have these eight games that we're gonna run, put them on the RAM and then after opening all these games, I'm gonna retrieve them from the RAM and check the performance of the RAM. So let's go ahead. After I finish opening all these games, I'm going to retrieve these games from the RAM and see if we have a crash or any one of these video games will reload. Now as you guys can see, when I reach Asphalt 9, which is I believe the fourth game I open, 
the ROM has been crashed and the phone has to restart the game and reopen it again and this happened when we disabled the ROM boost now if I open the rest of the app it's probably not going to change anything and some of these games is going to reopen so it's not going to stay on the ROM now here's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead go to the settings change this back to ROM boost and do the same test again to see if anything will change so let's go ahead and do it after restarting the phone one more time let me go ahead to the settings and just make sure that we have 12 gigabytes of ram first by going to about as you guys can see we have 8 gigabytes of ram plus 4 gigabytes of ram now if we go back to the system performance we're going to see that we have 12 gigabytes of ram so we're going to do the same test but first let me go ahead and kill everything from the background so we're going to start fresh open the same games one more time now after opening all the games we're going to retrieve them from the RAM so let's go ahead and do it Now after retrieving all the games from the ROM, not a single game has been crashed, so everything works perfect with no issues, which is great in my opinion, and it seems like the ROM boost does really help the phone to have more ROM by adding virtual memory to the device, which is great in my opinion. But there is another question we need to answer. Does the ROM boost affect the processor? For that reason, I did make the Geekbench test with 8 GB of RAM, and with the RAM boost and here's the result. Now with the RAM boost we got on the single core 1036, multi core 2997 and without the RAM boost I was able to get 1049 on the single core and 3021 on the multi core. We have a little bit difference here but that tells us something. But the RAM boost will use the processor more and this will lead to two things consuming more of the battery and make the processor run more to bring all the information from the actual ROM to the virtual ROM and this will lead your phone's gonna drain a little bit battery when you have it on the ROM boost and the processor of your device is gonna be stressed out from the ROM boost. Now should you leave the ROM boost on in your device? In my opinion yes because from what we saw the performance of the ROM has been enhanced at least 30% and the difference in the processing is not going to be much and I believe there is nothing to be worried about about the processing and the battery consumption is going to be just a few it's not going to be that much I wish you guys find this video helpful if it did you can always subscribe to Variety Stick if you haven't and give me a thumbs up as always we will talk to you in another video